Lymphadenitis is a condition in which your lymph nodes, tissues that help your body fight off illness, become inflamed. Mesenteric lymphadenitis is an inflammation of the lymph nodes in the membrane that attaches your intestine, bowel, to your abdominal wall mesentery. Mesenteric lymphadenitis usually results from an intestinal infection. The mesentery connects the bowel to the abdominal cavity. It also limits the movement of the intestines in the abdominal cavity. If not for the mesentery, the bowel likely would more frequently twist upon itself, causing obstruction. Mesenteric lymphadenitis often mimics the signs and symptoms of appendicitis. Unlike appendicitis, however, mesenteric lymphadenitis is seldom serious and clears on its own. Symptoms Signs and symptoms of mesenteric lymphadenitis may include Abdominal pain, often centered on the lower Right side, but the pain can sometimes be more widespread General abdominal tenderness Fever, depending on what's causing the ailment Other signs and symptoms may include Diarrhea, nausea and vomiting General feeling of being unwell, malaise in some cases, swollen lymph nodes are found on imaging tests for another problem. Mesenteric lymphadenitis that doesn't cause symptoms may need further evaluation. Causes Your lymph nodes play a vital role in your body's ability to fight off illness. They're scattered throughout your body to trap and destroy viruses, bacteria and other harmful organisms. In the process, the nodes closest to the infection can become sore and swollen for instance, the lymph nodes in your neck may swell when you have a sore throat. Other nodes that commonly swell are located under your chin and in your armpits and groin. Although less well known, you also have lymph nodes in the mesentery, the thin tissue that attaches your intestine to the back of your abdominal wall. The most common cause of swollen mesenteric nodes is a viral infection, such as gastroenteritis, commonly but incorrectly known as stomach flu. Some children develop an upper respiratory infection before or during a bout of mesenteric lymphadenitis. And experts speculate that there may be a link between the two. Complications. Mesenteric lymphadenitis usually goes away on its own and rarely causes complications. But if swollen lymph nodes are caused by a serious bacterial infection that isn't treated, the bacteria could spread to your bloodstream causing a potentially life-threatening infection, sepsis. Tests and diagnosis. To diagnose your child's condition, your doctor is likely to. Take your child's medical history. In addition to gathering details about your child's current signs and symptoms, your doctor likely will ask about any other medical conditions for which your child has been treated. Request laboratory tests. Certain blood tests can help determine whether your child has an infection and what type of infection it is. Order imaging studies. A computerized tomography CT, scan of your child's abdomen can help differentiate between appendicitis and mesenteric lymphadenitis. Abdominal ultrasound also may be used. Treatment and drugs. Mild, uncomplicated cases of mesenteric lymphadenitis and those caused by a virus usually go away on their own. Medications used to treat mesenteric lymphadenitis may include Over-the-counter OTC, pain relievers and fever reducers may help relieve discomfort. However, avoid giving aspirin as this increases the risk of Ray's syndrome in children. Antibiotics may be prescribed for a moderate to severe bacterial infection. Lifestyle and home remedies For the pain and fever of mesenteric lymphadenitis, have your child Get plenty of rest. Adequate rest can help your child recover. Drink fluids. Liquids help prevent dehydration from fever, vomiting, and diarrhea. Apply moist heat. A warm moist washcloth applied to the abdomen can help ease discomfort. If your child is experiencing persistent abdominal pain, don't ignore these symptoms. Mesenteric lymphadenitis can mimic serious conditions, so when should you see a doctor? Stay tuned for our next video where we break down when abdominal pain becomes an emergency. Hit subscribe so you don't miss it.